Okay, so in this video, we will show that the following sequence diverges by blowing up to positive infinity. Now, we have the sequence in concise form in sigma notation. It's always more intuitive to write out the sum in expanded form. So n begins at 1, 1 over 1 is 1, then plus when n is 2, 1 over 2, n is 3, 1 over 3, plus 1 over 4, plus all the way up to the upper bound of summation, uppercase n, so we get 1 over uppercase n. So quite simply, Sn is the sum of the reciprocals of the first positive n integers. 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 up to 1 over uppercase n for any choice of uppercase n. As long, of course, as uppercase n is a positive integer. To show that this sequence diverges to infinity, we will compare the summation Sn to the area below a curve. As we are summing 1 over n, it seems plausible that we can compare this summation to the area under the function 1 over x. And of course, since n only jumps over the positive integers, we only consider values of x on positive integers. And I will include one extra point from n to uppercase n plus 1, and you will see why in a few seconds. Now we want to show that somehow this summation is larger than the area below the curve 1 over x. So that means that on a given interval, we will take the y value on the left hand point of the interval to give us the height of the rectangle. So that the area of the rectangle will be larger than the area below the curve on each given interval. And you can see why we included n plus 1. So we have the first term, the second term, the third, the fourth, up to the nth term. So we go, since we use n as the left hand point of the interval, and use this x value to find the corresponding y value, the height of the rectangle, and we are going to the right, we need to consider the point n plus 1. And now it's clear that the total area of these rectangles will be larger than the exact area below the curve y equals 1 over x. Now what is the area of each rectangle? Well the width of each rectangle is equal to 1 and as the area is the base the width times the height then as the width the base is always 1 then the area will be simply the height of each rectangle. Well the function is 1 over x, so the height of the first rectangle is 1 over 1, which is 1. So the area of the first rectangle is 1. <coughs> second rectangle, the height is 1 over 2. So the area is 1 over 2 for the second rectangle. Third, 1 over 3. The fourth, 1 over 4. All the way up to the last rectangle, the nth rectangle, where the height is 1 over n, so the area is 1 over n. So look at this. The summation of the reciprocals of the first positive n integers is exactly equal to the area, the total area, of these n rectangles. But clearly, this total area exceeds the exact area below the curve 1 over x, from x equals 1 to x equals 
n plus 1. <coughs> we can now find the exact area below 1 over x from 1 to n plus 1 using the fundamental theorem of calculus. An antiderivative to 1 over x is, of course, ln of x. And we evaluate from 1 to n plus 1. So we get ln of uppercase n plus 1. Then minus the ln of 1, which is 0. So all we have is the ln of uppercase n plus 1. And this is true for any choice of uppercase n. So look at the implication here. For any n, Sn is always at least as big as the ln of n plus 1. So what happens as we let uppercase n, the upper bound of summation, tend to positive infinity? Well, the ln of n plus 1, we know goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. So if Sn is always at least as big as ln of n plus 1, and as n tends to infinity, the smaller term goes to infinity, then the larger term has no other option than to also blow up to positive infinity. So we now have shown that in the limit, as n goes to infinity, Sn also goes to infinity. But let us write this now without the limit. So if we rewrite Sn in its summation form, being the sum of 1 over n from 1 to uppercase n, well, as n tends to infinity, the upper bound of summation goes to infinity. So we can rewrite this as we would an improper integral, summing from 1 to infinity of 1 over n. And if we write this in expanded form, then we get 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5, and so on. And again, because now the upper bound of summation is infinite, the summation never ends. We have an infinite sum of positive terms. And we have just shown by comparing Sn to the area below the curve 1 over x, that this infinite sum is actually equal to infinity. So it is impossible to sum all the reciprocals of the positive integers. As you keep adding more and more of the terms, the sum will keep increasing without bounds, and so in the limit, it blows up to positive infinity. And this infinite sum is usually called the harmonic series. And that's it.